Hi, Coach. We're back with more of the training, and we had a question today from one of our subscribers, and they wanted to know about how to make uh, colors to precast walls. So, this is the best way to handle this because if you want it to be precast, you want to add all the functionality. So, I'm going to go with the structural wall here. We want to lay out our walls first, so I'm going to go height unconnected 20 for now. But let's go to level one. So I'm just going to reset that for now. And then I'm going to just draw a shape here for our walls. So initially, we want to use the wall um, command here in, in, in Rivet. Uh, this is just a generic. Oh, I want a structural wall. Let me see if this is a structural wall just to make sure. No, actually it is. But for all practical purposes, I'm going to just go back here and do this again, just to make sure we're in the right wall. So I'm going to go, we're in rivet structure, and we're going to go with our structural wall. Yep, that was it. And I'm just going to do a box here. It's a rectangular box. It's always good to start out this way. That way you can do many things. You can manipulate it better. And then with it being uh, structural, we can even get reinforcing here. So the first thing we want to do here. I'm going to go and look at this in 3D. We're going to window tower these views so we can see here. Now, the first thing I want to do here, I want to grab these walls. I'm just going to hit a tab key, select them all, edit the type. And here, we want to just edit all of these walls. And here we got our wall structure. We got the categories here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add two more layers here. We're going to have an insulation layer here, which will be the middle. So we'll hit the little builder block here, and let's go with rigid insulation. There you go. That'll be our center. And we'll say OK. And down here, and then we got to give it a thickness. So we're going to make this four inches insulation, and we're going to get, hmm, yeah, let's do four inches for now and four. So what we have here, we got four inches of insulation and then we here, we click here on the rigid and we'll go and grab our precast. Let's do the lightweight. Uh, let me see precast. Let's go precast here and we'll do the lightweight and Let's see, yep, four inches. I'm gonna say okay for now. So we got our four inches of that. And then here we do the same on that side. So we'll have another four inches of lightweight. Um, we'll say okay. Now here we can do a preview so we can kind of look at this. So that's what our panel is gonna look like in the section view. So now we mentioned colors, so it's pretty simple how you do that. Uh, we can go right back here. Uh oh, we go back here in our builder, and this precast wall, this side here. Let's go and say, now you have the um, the material here for the first one that we're looking at, and see it's highlighted over here. Uh oh, sorry. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select this use rendered appearance. You can do that and it'll show the actual appearance. But here we're going to go with just, uh, we're not going to take that and we're going to look at our appearance here and see what we got. Pretty much nothing. So I'm going to go back here to graphics. So here in graphics, we want to select this color. And for this one, let's say, uh, any of these colors you want, or you can create a color. Let's just go with this one. No, let's do something like uh, this. I like this blue. Well, <laughs> not going to be ticky tack about it. Let's just use this one. I'm going to say OK here. And I'm going to apply it. And OK. So see, that's the color. And I'm going to grab this one here on the back side. You see it's highlighted. We can go and make this one. Let's make that red. Click OK. Apply. 
So there you go. So now we're going to say OK here. OK. And OK. And then let's look at this guy here. Consistent colors. OK. So something's not looking right here. Uh, let me see what we got going on here. Let me select them all again. Uh-oh. This is pretty much what you need to do here. So this, this, okay, I see what's happening here. So now we can edit this type here. And we can go change these guys. So uh, this is red, okay. And this one is my, oh, they're both red. Okay, so I'm gonna change this one to yellow and see what happens here. Okay, for the inside. this works okay so what happens apparently is uh, we're not getting the different colors but this is basically how you do this you can go in here and I'm gonna cancel this out yeah, let's go back to our plan view and let's turn this on fine so we can kind of see what's going on here and let's go consistent colors Okay, so it wasn't happening. This yellow's dominated. I don't know why. I guess, let's see, cancel this. But you get the idea here. Pretty straightforward and simple. I gotta select, sorry, select these walls. I'm gonna edit this type. Now, here, what you can do also, you can duplicate this. And then we call it number two or whatever. You wanna say okay, and then we can edit this and change these colors here with the little builder here. So we're gonna change this to, click here, change this to purple, and we'll say okay. Now if I click render the appearance, it's gonna take me back to the original appearance. So to do colors, you basically have to come here and select the color here, select new, okay, apply, okay. Okay, apply. And so there's our new color. Now what happens next is now it's still a wall. So we want to make these precast panels. Now you can use a precast tool, but I kind of like to do this, make it simple. So I'm going to go into my, um, is it architecture tab? No, it's modify here. I want to split these faces here. So normally you take a three quarter inch split. So here, I'm going to take my, okay, sorry, uh, I'm going to split with gap, I don't want three quarter inch gap, so this is going to go here, you can measure this six, six, say seven feet, seven, so that's basically how I would do it, I would, I would cut the wall, I'd create a wall and I'd just start cutting in. And then you can go and visually change see just how I showed you how to do this. But that's basically it. Um, I hope this helps and thank you for watching my video. So there's our precast wall panels. It's just a matter of going in here and changing the colors. So that's how you do that. So hey, sir, thank you for watching, or, or whoever you are. I think it was a Jew person or something or another. But that's it, that's how you do it. So I can then take these individual walls and I can play around with them, I think. Let's see, I think it's gonna have the whole wall. So, but anyway, um, I hope that helps. But that's basically how you would change the colors to wall panels. And then again, like I said, you wanna uh, create, a, use the regular generic wall, then we can go in and add reinforcing in here. So if I say I wanna add some reinforcing, I would go here area reinforcing I'll just select that guy okay and it will go from there there to there and finish and then I want to wireframe it so there you go so that's basically how you do that so hey thank you for watching my video uh, anybody new to this channel, please subscribe. Helps me make videos like this all the time. But hey, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody be safe and bye.